another ESCC Kids Online. I'm Tanaka and I'm Zendre and this is week two of our Take, Take the Lead, lead parade. parade. Wait, what was the parade again? Flashback. A parade is when people march together in a costume with music or even a marching band. Sometimes they even have large balloons or floats. End of flashback. Oh yes, it's like a giant celebration. Speaking of celebrations, it's time to sing and dance together. from a movie or a book or a song. Let's see if we can name some of those. So, Justin, Matthew and Tanaka is here with me. We're going to play a game. I'm going to give them a category and they need to see if they can name something from that. 
Who do you think is going? Me! Me! I'm going to win! Okay, well, let's see. Are you guys ready? Yes! Three, two, one. A show or movie that has talking animals? Does Space it? Jam. Space Jam. That's cool. Okay, you can stand up if you've got the right answer. Okay. okay. Um, a book where the main character is a boy. Um, um, Tintin. The Adventures of Tintin. Well done, Justin. You guys are slow. I'm beating you. Two to <laughs> zero. You know we are. A movie where the characters sing. Sing! Oh, there's a movie called Sing. Sing? As sing. easy as that. As the animation sing. <laughs> Does he get the point? Yes. Okay. I'm going to have to trust him on that. Okay. You really, this is an easy one. A Star Wars character. Luke Skywalker. Oh, well done, Matthew. Well done. Um, a female superhero. Wonder Woman. <laughs> well done, Justin Tanaka. You're Wonder Woman. <laughs> okay, all right. Here's yours, Tanaka. Here we go. Any book, show, or movie that takes place underwater. SpongeBob Kevin. Well done, Tanaka. <laughs> Thank you for your kindness, Justin. You're welcome. I definitely had an answer, and that's why I stood up. Okay, next one. Any character from SpongeBob? That's not SpongeBob. Patrick SquarePants. <laughs> Patrick SquarePants. <laughs> Matthew gets the point. I couldn't hear anything else from there. <laughs> Did you say Patrick? No, I said Squidward. Oh, Squidward. Okay. All Patrick right. Squidward is not No, a that's not going to work. Fail. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, this is quite a difficult one. Any show or movie that has a parade in it? Rio! Well done, oh, Rio! Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> that was a unison. Awesome. <laughs> okay, okay. Last one, last one. Ooh. Who can think, and you can all answer this, but first one gets the point. Um, who can think of a character from the Bible who was afraid? David and Goliath. Was David afraid or Goliath? <laughs> David. Yeah. David was afraid. Okay, or okay. It's not a person, but the disciples. Oh, yes, they were. Tanaka? Uh, Samuel. Samuel, there was this other guy who was so afraid that he was hiding in a huge wine fat. Is that a fat? Is that a vat? What do you call that? Barrel. And the winner is drum roll! I lost my wig. What makes you afraid? Everyone line up. I'm going to ask a few things that you might be afraid of. If you are afraid, take a step forward. If you're not afraid, take a step back. If you are in between, just stand still. Kids at home, feel free to play with us. What are some things that make you afraid? Spiders? The dark? Thunderstorms? Oh, those are scary. I don't like thunderstorms. Monsters under the bed? Oh. Going somewhere alone? I don't like being alone. Tight spaces? Getting lost? I hate getting lost. Earthquakes? Those are horrible. They shake everything and make everything look horrible. Scary movies? Speaking in front of people? Heights? Getting a shot at the doctor's office? Oh, that's sore. Snakes? There are many people who share some of the same fears as you. We call them phobias. For example, did you know that Triska Decophobia Triska Dika Nykophobia? Triska what did... Yeah, da, da. 
Triskaidekaphobia. Okay, that seems like a pretty long word, but what it means is the fear of number 13. What do you do when you're afraid? Most everyone has a way to cope when they come across something that scares them. Sometimes they close their eyes really, really tight and they start humming very, very loudly. Some of us might hold tightly onto a stuffed animal or onto a blanket. Others of us might just run away as fast as we can. Ah! What do you do when you're afraid? So I'm going to ask Zendra, Tanaka and Matthew, what do you guys do when you're afraid? Zendra? If it's a spider, he's dead. He's dead, okay. Tanaka? I run away. You run away. Yes. Matthew, what do you do when you're afraid? I stand in fear and do not know what to do. <laughs> ah, okay. How does that help you be less afraid? Okay. Because then the danger is gone. And the danger is gone, Tanaka? Yes, if I run away, I'm running away from the danger, so I'm safe. And Matthew? Most of the time, because I'm afraid of heights, if I'm standing by a cliff, I'll just stop and I just stand and I do not move. I'm, I'm also very afraid of heights and what I do when I'm scared is I, you won't believe it, I stand and I start going, Jesus loves me, this I know, and I just start talking to myself and singing worship songs and before I know it, I've made it to the other side if I'm doing like a high ropes or something and it's really, really fun. So guys, one thing that we've just found out from asking our beautiful, beautiful voices is that everyone has fears, even leaders, but they often overcome those fears with God's help and end up doing something really epic. Today we're going to hear about one such leader, Gideon. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Coral. And I'm Andy. Welcome to Grow TV. <laughs> Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Coral. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grow TV! What is up, Andy? How's it going? What it do? Hey there! What's up? Alright, no more. Mother! Ah! <laughs> we have fun. We sure do. You seem like you're in a really good mood, Carl. Well, it's because I am. Well, why is that? Well, after last week's big idea of everyone could be a leader, well, it got me excited. That's great, Carl. <laughs> it really is. I mean, I'm a leader. I can accomplish so much. That's so good for you, man. What? What was that? Well, I mean, I think it's great that you're confident, but... Uh... But what? Well, leading takes a lot of responsibility, and I'm always scared to lead. I'm scared to lead? Why? I mean... What if I fail? <laughs> fail? <laughs> what are you talking about, fail? Well, you know how you could succeed at leading, right? Um, yeah, if you're good at something, you succeed. What's the problem? Well, the problem is, just like you can succeed, you can also fail. Excuse me? Wait, you mean you you didn't know that? What? <laughs> of course I knew that. I meant, like, you, when you succeed, this is like, when you fail, you know, it's uh, the conundrum of this sentence is what? What? Carl, you're not making any sense. That's because I'm failing, Andy. But. No buts. This is it. Every hope, goal, and dream I had is vanished into thin air. Whoa, Carl, that is not. No more leading for me. Let's take a moment to thank all the leaders that I wanted to be like. <laughs> hey, Jada. Hey Andy, how's it going Carl? Oh, not bad. You excited about being a leader? Carl's not having the best day. Oh, how come? I'm just a little bummed is all. Why's that? Well, I was so excited about being a leader, but then Andy destroyed my whole universe. Okay, not really. I was just reminding Carl that sometimes when you're leading, you may not always succeed. You may fail or mess up. And now he just reminded me twice. Why are you trying to destroy my whole universe, Andy? I'm glad you're not being dramatic about this. I'm not dramatic! <laughs> okay, I'm a little dramatic. Now, Carl, you gotta understand, leading can be scary, but it's so much easier when you have God on your side. Just like Gideon. 
Exactly. Giddy what? Gideon, he was a normal guy in the Old Testament. Yup, and one day while he was working, an angel came to him and told him that the Lord was with him. But weren't the Israelites, God's people, kind of in a, just like a bad spot right then? They were. The people of God were not listening to God, but God still loved them. Mm. That angel also called Gideon a mighty warrior. Hold up. I thought you just said he was a normal dude, not some mighty warrior. Those things are completely different. Well, Gideon was surprised by hearing that too, but he was told by the angel that he would be the one to defeat the Midianites, the people who have been treating the Israelites so poorly. <laughs> wow, that's huge. It was, but Gideon started out his mighty warrior status by leading the charge to destroy the idols that his own people had put up. <laughs> Whoa, that was bold. Carl, do you even know what an idol is? Yeah, it's anything that takes place of God. I mean, God talked about it in the Ten Commandments. Respect. Yeah, I know things. That was impressive, Carl. Then Gideon was told he would have to go to battle, even though his community was weak and he was the smallest in his family. Talk about being afraid to fail. That's a lot of pressure. You bet it is, and Gideon was so nervous that he asked for a sign from God. Like a stop sign? Not really. What Gideon was going to do is he was going to take a piece of wool from a lamp, go outside and lay it down. And in the morning, if that wool was wet and the ground was dry, he knew that God would keep his promise and be with him and help him defeat the Midianites. How would a wet piece of wool help? It wouldn't, but that was Gideon's way of making absolute sure that it was God who was calling him. Still weird, but proceed. God gave Gideon the signs he asked for, but when Gideon gathered people to join his army, God told Gideon that there were too many people in his army. So Gideon said anyone who was afraid to fight can go home. And do you know how many people went home? 500. 22. 22. Ha! 1,000. 22,000 soldiers. What? What? And even though there were only 10,000 soldiers left, God said it was still too much. So Gideon listened to God, and at the end of it, there were only 300 soldiers left. Are you kidding me? Why would God take away Gideon's armies? Well, Gideon was told he would defeat the Midianites, and God wanted to make sure that everyone would know that if it wasn't for God, then they would have failed. Holy moly, that's incredible. So they won? They sure did, all because Gideon trusted God and God gave him courage to lead. Well, that's great. So I guess I shouldn't be worried about failing. Right? Everyone fails, but it takes real courage and bravery to lead. It takes courage to trust, too. And leading with God on your side is so much better than anything else. <laughs> I believe that. What an awesome reminder. God gives me courage <laughs> to lead. Hey, Carl, that's our big idea. Heck, what? No, you're silly, Jada. Andy. Apparently, today's big idea is God gives me courage to lead. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. God, God gives, gives me, me courage, courage to lead. To lead. <laughs> Way to go. He gives me the courage and you the courage. And Andy, apparently, who would have thunk? Hey, I got a question, Andy. What are you afraid of? Nothing. Really? Not even this? What is it? Nothing. Ah! <laughs> gotcha. See you next week, kids. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Roll TV. Do you know what we should do when we are afraid? Call on God. Psalm 20 verse 7 to 9 says, Some trust in chariots, others in horses. But we trust in the Lord our God. They are overwhelmed and defeated, but we march forward and win. Lord, save the king. Answer us when we call for help. The writer of this song says, when we trust and pray to God, God will hear us and give us victory. We may not be going into battle like Gideon did, but we can conquer our fears with the courage that God gives us. Why? Because God gives me the courage to lead. Why might we need courage to lead? Being a leader isn't just about getting recognition and being in charge. It can also mean doing what is unpopular because it's the right thing to do. It will take a lot of courage to go against what everyone else is doing because you know God wants you to behave differently. But that's an example for being a great leader helping others to see how God wants everyone to act. When it is your turn to lead, you might be scared that no one will agree with you. 
or that you might mess up or that you're not sure what you're doing. But that's when you need to remind yourself, God, God gives, gives me courage, courage to lead. Did you know some of the first parades were held on boats? That might be why they're called parade floats because they was a time when floats literally floated. I want to challenge you guys with this really cool activity that you can do at the end of this video. I want you to write down your fears on a piece of paper and then fold it into a paper boat like this. We will put this how to fold the page again at the end of the video. Now go fill a tub of water or a little bit in the bath and put your paper boat on the water to see if it floats. You can even blow it a little bit from behind. I want you to think about what you can do in situations when you feel afraid. Ask and listen as God gives you courage. Ask God to show you if there's anyone in your life who feels afraid, go ahead and pray for them as you play with your paper boat. Now, just because we put our fear boats in the water, it doesn't mean our fears automatically disappear. But this is a good way for us to remember that no matter what we're afraid of, God will give us courage to float them away when we ask. Today's memory verse is Micah 6 verse 8. The Lord has told you what is good. He has told you what he wants from you. Do what is right to other people. Love being kind to others. And live humbly trusting your God. It's me again, and it's that time for us to do our fun parade dance. You guys ready? Let's go for it. Got waves that are tossing me, crashing all over my beliefs. And in all sincerity, Lord, I wanna be yours. Mm. So pull me out of this mess I'm in, cause I know I'm wandering. Leave my soul back home again, I've always been yours. And this world may push me. Well guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button down below. And if you'd like to get connected to us and do some fun activities, get some extra activities at home or participate in some competitions, go and find our Facebook page. Our link will be in the description below. Bye guys.